Well, hey there everyone, it's Barry's Best Hunting. I'm Mike and I do bees. Welcome to Southeast Louisiana. Well folks, it is the 3rd of July. Yesterday we went through and stripped all the supers here. Have yet to go into town to strip supers, but I will probably be doing that tomorrow. It is time to start extracting honey. Uh, I was gonna dry down everything, but I checked a frame yesterday under one of the fans and it was totally uncapped with a set maybe that much capping on it and it was 15 and a half percent folks so i'm going to go in the honey shed because being it's 95 degrees out here in southeast louisiana this is a great day to be inside in air condition working on honey extraction so we're going to go inside and i'm going to show you what's going on it's very noisy Let's go look at my drying action, my drying operation, what we have going. We're at 35%, humidity in the room. We got fans going on everything. I did go buy one more fan. I had a couple more that I could put on. So this is all we do is we run fans through the boxes. So my goal today is to take this top layer of boxes off so I can drop fans further down. So if I can do this top layer of boxes, okay, I can drop some fans down. I got room for another stack that I'm gonna bring in from in town, but those are mostly all capped and, and uh, loaded. So those shouldn't be an issue. And we got our trusty, finally bought refractometer that I will use to randomly check some frames before I put my honey all in one tank. I checked that box back there uh, and I'm telling you, it was low humidity and it was all uncapped. But a lot of them are coming out of the hives with very low humidity. In other words, the bees have already dried it down quite a bit. We are a very, very humid region, so that's sometimes a problem. But what I'm gonna do right now is cut some of this noise out. So at this point, all I have, I have all the fans off, I have my AC unit going on dry sitting. That thing does really good. The dry sitting kind of just tries to maintain the temperature and pull the moisture out of the air. But that's a good, that's a good dry air that's blowing through these col uh, these colonies, these uh, boxes. Um, one thing about the flow, and I kind of made a note in my video as we were stripping supers is, you know, some would ask, well, why don't you leave it on there longer for them to cap? The honey that in the cells, this is what I may mention in the video of stripping the supers, the honey in the cells is not all the way full in all of the cells and the frames aren't full and a lot of times they won't cap those they'll dry them and there'll be a hazy look to those those cells you'll see the honey is kind of hazy looking it's because it's already dried down and they won't cap it because the cells aren't full when i when i leave that on if i just leave it there it's, it's just not going to get capped it's going to stay there open and they'll consume that so i went ahead and pulled a lot of that off and that's what where i say hey the bees have done some of the work for me the cells aren't all the way full and then capped over. So that's why I'm not going to just sit and leave it hoping they'll cap it because I've done that before and left honey, honey all the way through into July and it's not capped. Now, a lot of people will leave their honey on, like Mr. Ed, for example, his that aren't capped, he's going to leave them on the rest of the summer. He'll wait till October. What will happen is bees will eat some, they'll load some. As we come out of the dirt, we'll get more nectar, they'll fill some, you know, it'll fluctuate. And then what he does is he likes to pull the rest of his stuff in October, November. So if I left until November, I probably could get some more capped, but I need to get out what I need to get out. So leaving it on there is not going to get it capped in the next two or three weeks at this point because there's nothing coming in. Now, if there was still some flow coming in or another flow to come, that would be different. But we don't. They're done. It's finished. So I pull it all off. So I'm going to get busy on extracting. The plan is just to show you some extraction here and there, show you my equipment. So you know I'm working with the Hilco 18 frame extractor. And uh, I've got a Maxent uncapping tank, and I got plenty of five gallon buckets with strainers, but I'll show you my process like I have in the past. I use a cold bread knife, straight, not angled, and it uh, works really well for me. Tried the hot knife, doesn't work well for me. Um, I don't care for it myself. Um, I like the cold knife. That's the plan is just to go through and show you what I do. We're not going to do 3,000 pounds like we did last year. That's a fact. <laughs> That is a fact. Um, but what we do, we'll be grateful for. And I'm just gonna get busy and go after these frames and start getting some work done because it's a beautiful day to be inside. 
So folks, I have begun uncapping. I have not begun extracting yet. So take a look at what we're seeing. This honey's darker and uh, I'm, I'm running through some really uh, very nicely capped boxes right now. So of course we're draining here. We just started, literally I just started doing this. We got stuff draining, good, good, good drain. Well, I love it to look at that, how pretty it is. So there you go, beautiful dripping comb honey. Oh wait, that's Dave's channel. Y'all don't forget to check out Dave's channel, certified queen breeder now. Next year, gonna be selling queens, mated queens and queen cells uh, down in Mayo, Florida. Dripping comb honey. Anyway, I'll talk more about him as we go through the year. Great guy, always takes care of me in uh on my youtube and uh just want to make a mention of him and give him a shout out but we'll be shouting out a lot more about him but anyway that's what it reminds me of when i see that it reminds me of his channel so anyway nicely capped boxes i'll show you my style of uncapping i do not use a hot knife i actually tried one of the pierce uncapping knives and uh i was on the phone with the fella and i told him i would challenge him to an uncapping i told him i think i could beat him you know, he's got good practice. He's been doing that for years and years and years. But I don't know. I'm just goofing. Who knows? He'll probably smoke me. <laughs> this is how we cut that wax off. Anyway, nice, nice frame, nice frames. I just checked some more honey on my refractometer on a couple uncapped because this is a different stack. 15 even. So it's almost getting too dry. So I, I got the fans cut down for now. Just keep the humidity out of the air so the honey in the tank doesn't take on any moisture we'll be fine but uh yeah very very dry stuff I i'd be curious to see what the cap honey tests out to let's do that real quick that'd be something to check let's check that hmm. yeah 15 percent percent I said 15 actually 14 that's very dry almost too dry so I'm gonna leave the fans off for a little bit anyway so I wonder what this is it's boy it's thick I guess I need to taste it and see what we got going on here I'm gonna get busy doing this I got more frames to do I'm going to bring y'all back after I load this extractor and uh, we'll watch the first bit of 2023 honey come out of here at Barry's Best Honey. Let's do some of my capping. I'll show you how I chop up my caps later. And we'll, uh, whoa, cutting some wood. A little bread knife. Does the job. But it's also can do some damage to my frames. But I'll bring y'all back. Let's let's do some uncapping. Then we'll get to doing some extracting. So this this thing really runs nice and smooth. But it, like any anything that's going to spin centrifugal, you got to balance it somewhat. You know, I heard somebody say something about these nylon reels, but John said these have been used in Europe for years, and he surmises as well that the flex of them does help that this thing balance itself better so anyway i'll take three light frames they're very light i'll put them right by these reinforcing arms right here on the same side each way and then i'll load the heavy normal ones all in with them in between so that should give us some kind of balance and you know in the end you take your time and you spin it up slow to begin with don't go crazy and uh, it works out usually so that's my hope it worked for me last year I love my 18 frame. And yes, I am speaking good about this extractor. I love it. Alrighty, I got her loaded. There's the first honey. That is it. I had the camera off when the first drop came out. 
I didn't get to show you loading the rest of the frames either. But anyway, I got her nice and slow. Beautiful honey, a little darker than what we're used to. Tastes different for sure. Reminds me of the blackberry honey, but I mean, it just the blackberry was so long ago, but I'm sure they moved it around. I got it going really slow right now because you know it's unbalanced. You hear that? I know, nothing. When this thing does get to wobbling, if you're not careful, it goes fast. I don't have mine bolted down. The rubber stops seem to do just fine because it balances so well. But uh, I did get it going wonky one time, and it's like one jump and that's it. It's coming across the room. You, you boom, hit the emergency stop. This is a reversible extractor. I can go the other way too. It's a three phase 110 motor, which is very unusual, or 120, I guess. Speed it up a little bit. Don't want to go crazy. We're dropping some good honey right now. Oh, yeah. I'm excited about that. Now, I know every box is not going to be like that, but I'm going to get busy cutting frames. As you can see, we've just started. A lot of boxes to go through. See which ones are empty, which ones are full, or not empty, but you know, partial, and work through it. So I got this one glistening a lot and it looks very, very watery, but had nothing coming out. I want to check it. Again, I said I'd randomly check some of these and that's what I'm going to do, just randomly check. I don't want to take any chances, folks, of any kind of moisture in this because this honey is going to sit for a while and I don't want it, any problems with fermentation. So let's take a look. This is an uncapped frame. I told you I'd do random tests. Let's get you focused in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. There it is. That's 16% on an uncapped frame. That's dry stuff and it's thick. So I think we're gonna be safe with all this stuff. I don't know if it's my drying or whether it's coming out of the hives. Like I said, I had one at 17 and a half to 18. Um, this dried for 24 hours. So I think we're sitting pretty good. Still at it folks, really haven't done a lot more. Um, it's gonna take a while to do this because I run across empty frames or frames I just wanna take. For example, so I got some frames like this. All right, one side is full. The other side is empty, so these are lighter. I have to balance them out. I have to pick through and load the extractor. Um, then you get these that are kind of medium, you know. I checked all this honey. I keep checking it, and I'm telling you, this is dry. It's about 15 to, to 16, I mean 14 to 16 in between there every time. It's very, very dry. It's very thick. Um, it's not that cool. My honey house is actually sitting up around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm not real cold in here. It's just some seriously thick stuff and it's very dark for, for it's the darkest I've seen this time of year for our, our summer harvest or our spring into summer harvest. I've never seen it so dark. I'll show you a bucket of it. And our, of course, our, I gotta chop those up pretty soon, but we're filling up this. It's, it's um, usually you can see all the way to the bottom. And then this bucket, it's beautiful. I mean, and it doesn't, it's not strong at all. It's, it's very, very mild. It's got a fruity flavor. Um, 
Some were describing it as a caramel buttery type of flavor, not super sweet. And, and that's what I'm seeing too. I mean, uh, I am running across a couple that are definitely tallow. You can tell when you cut them, they run out pretty well. But even the tallow is checking in it. it I checked some just to see some of the lighter stuff that was coming and it was checking in at 16, 17. So uh, my drying has definitely helped, but at the same time, this stuff is just thick. But we got some frames in here. I mean, we got some PHAT, as I say that are nice but you know only on one side they're just not full this year but I'll take all those I can get and I'm good with that uh, it's, and you can tell it's darker it's got that wet look to it I meaning those cells are full but it's just some darker darker honey uh, I'm running across a few light frames I'm sure I will uh, as we go but it's a uh, it's it's a different year for sure everything is different this year so that's what's cool is how they surprise you and everything but I'm just excited we're seeing honey. I'm very excited we're seeing honey. I mean, I've got some honey left. That honey over there, those buckets right over there, that's, that's all honey that's left, but honey sells fast, folks. I'm filling that thing. I'm filling that thing every 10 days, so it sells fast. But this is an old wax foundation. That's what this is. This is old wired wax. I still have a few of these from probably I guess eight years ago now is when I was using those and uh, of course it's had everything in it from brood to honey to probably wax moths at one time nice nice frame of honey It's thick, 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 thick. It's so thick. Ooh, nice, honey. Ooh, another beauty. Another beauty. Don't have many, so I got to show off the few that I got this year. Normally, normally I see them, and then I just get used to seeing them. Now I'm not seeing them, so every time I do see them, I'm happy to see them. Fat frames. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Nine frame boxes. I wish they were all like this, but you know what? I'm happy for this one. Look at that thing. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, man, that's pretty. Look at that. Talk about some honey on that. Just makes you want to pick up that slab and eat it, but you know you'd be sick as a dog if you did. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love it. on the sides. That Hillco 18 frame Ultramax. I love this extractor. It's so quiet. Look how beautiful that is. That. Never gets old folks. It never gets old. So as in the past I will show you what I do with my wax. But let me show you exactly how I process this stuff so it'll drain. Now you guys have been with me for a while have seen me do this. This is what I do to it. And anytime you have wax built up like this, my suggestion is try this. Now again, not a how-to video. Y'all know that with me. I'm not telling you how to, but I'm going to tell you this. This has worked for me. What I do is I just chop it all up. I pulverize it. And then you leave this for about a day or two and it will drain a gallon of, of, of honey out of here. You will be surprised how much honey comes out of these cappings. Now I used to get those PHAT frames and fat frames and I would sweat it, man. I would try to cut just a layer of wax off and oh my goodness, it's too much I'm cutting off. I learned, uh-uh, just cut it down the frame. It makes it easy to cut, faster to, faster to take off the caps. And when you do this to it, and chop this stuff up and pulverize it it will drain 90 percent of the wax uh honey out of this wax so you don't have to worry about it you're not losing that much if any at all i mean you're losing some obviously but not that much if you have a wax spinner you really are going to lose any but they're so expensive and for my operation this works just fine so that's what i do folks right there just go 
crisscross. Now it's getting pretty. I just cut it up. In eight hours, the top will be dry. In 24 hours, it'll almost be drained. This not only gets the wax draining, it brings the heap of wax down where you got more room to load it, and I can do plenty more frames. I've actually only been through a couple runs on the extractor, but I'm taking my time. There you go, and that's what I do, folks. That's how I do. Well, folks, it is the next day. It's July 4th. This is what I extracted uh, last night. This stack right here and this stack right here is what I extracted. Now, I told you about pulverizing my wax cappings, and I haven't even opened this yet. I'm going to open it here in a second. Now, I drained this tank down to where there was just a small puddle, a small puddle in the very, in that V area. There was about that much honey left. Now, there was some running down. And I pulverized this. It had already drained for about an hour. And let's see what we got from pulverizing how much actually drains out of these wax cappings. Wow, look at this. So just by pulverizing them, this is, it's its already, you can see, I mean, it's sticky, don't get me wrong. Another couple days would do a good. It is, it's definitely thick still in there. We still got plenty coming out. But if you look down here, this, there was this much honey left right there. Just only by that much. Now look at that. That's the top of the honey gate. That's how much drains out when you pulverize it and just let it sit. It, it does phenomenal. But, you know, I got some boxes that, again, we're partial here, and then we start filling up right here, and then we go partial, and then we go almost empty. And so that's what we're seeing with most of the boxes. Now, this is going to get interesting. <laughs> I got a pretty good mix and match. Heavy, a couple light deeps, a couple heavy deeps, light and and heavy mixed up and one with nothing on one side mediums uh, let's see what this hillco can do i've done this before but i've been able to do it with even amounts of frames i got like five deeps and <laughs> i'm gonna see what this thing does it's already wobbling it's barely even moving but i think that nylon um drum insert the rack really helps flex. Uh, when it flexes, it really helps to balance. Well, I'm, it's not doing too bad. I mean, I don't expect any extractor to handle this kind of load very smoothly, but we'll go slow and easy. And I say that meaning they're, without being bolted down. It's handling it pretty well. I'm going to leave it like that for now, and i got to get ready to switch a bucket. It's doing good. It's spinning straight. And we're at half speed. thing handles the load really well. we pulled or extracted today i think there's 14 left in there and about eight to ten from the other yard maybe a little bit more but uh the bees are showing up i let them clean them out right here and then i turn around and uh whew, i'm winded uh, i will turn around and just leave them here uh it was a long day of extracting but i uh, still got more to do uh, the boxes aren't yielding what they normally would but they're yielding plenty so i'm excited uh right now we have over 50 gallons that's that's exciting uh i mean with what we got last year adding that on there oh, that's gonna do us just fine um you know it's not a bumper crop by any means but it's a great harvest considering what we saw well the box has been out here about an hour 
but they've definitely found the wet supers. This is always the coolest part of harvest, right? Ooh, look at the bees. Yeah, the flow's over. <laughs> no doubt. Well, that's it, folks. I'm going to go ahead and do a closing really quick over top of this video where we were stripping supers uh, last week. But anyway, um, man, I got to say, it is it was spectacular. I, I am so thrilled with this extraction and this harvest. I ended up with... Uh, 26 buckets basically 1500 pounds of honey now that's 50 percent off of last year about what i predicted i said 60 to 75 but 50 percent but still i was hoping to just get 55 60 gallons we got 130 gallons i i, I am just absolutely thrilled the bees performed way more than we ever give them credit for sometimes and wow so uh, very happy with that the bees are all doing great harvest is over i got everything in the buckets i'm washing it down so thrilled so thrilled for this harvest man only by god's grace and god's favor did we see a harvest like that so i want to thank you guys for watching i want to thank you for all your support as always i appreciate it so much i hope you enjoyed this video i know it could get a little mundane just uncapping and spinning but this is harvest and this is what we do this time of year. All right, guys. Well, this is Barry's Best Hunting. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Y'all have a wonderful week. And may God bless you. We'll see y'all later.